Well, look by the pool, Charlie. Good morning. We're here in the Lido Buffet getting some breakfast before we head out to the Tracy Arm Fjord excursion. That's not till later. Uh, however, we're not even actually close to the Tracy Arm Fjord just yet. We're going to get some breakfast and then head to the Glacier Show. A little bit more information just about what we're actually going to be doing at this glacier here that we're going to go see. And then maybe even Mendenhall Glacier that we might go see in Juneau. Let's start our day with some breakfast. This is an extra uh, free cereal. Three? Yes, three cereal. Ah, Alaska Cruise, you got to go big, huh? <laughs> it's the cereal. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Fruit Loops and... Lucky Charm. Delicious. Brandy, how's your burrito? It's good. The salsa's not as spicy as I would like. <clears throat> what salsa did you try? I tried the uh, salsa Rojas, the, I don't know, Lance got them for me. <laughs> but normally it seems really spicy and it's not spicy, but it's still flavorful. Uh, and I just got breakfast burrito, ham, potato, onion, pico. It's good, yeah. It's exactly like blue bar my cantina. My huevo rancheros is absolutely delicious. <laughs> Honestly, better than I've ever gotten at Blue Iguana Cantina for breakfast. Uh, they are ripas. They actually, you know, made them fresh to order, so to speak. Like they warmed them up and, and melted the cheese. Tacos and burritos, Blue Iguana Cantina, it's the same thing. We have over 100,000 glaciers in Alaska alone. The Seward Peninsula Mountains, the Alaska Range, Wrangell St. Elias Mountains. The ones that we see down here are the St. Elias Mountains, but also the Coast Mountains. What I want you guys to do is work together. So if you see something awesome, I can't make announcements on the outside today. So just start yelling and freaking out and be like, you're <laughs> happy. And then other people will find you and be like, oh, what are you seeing? And the first thing we're probably going to see are harbor seals. Harbor seals are very common inside fjords because it is a shelter or sanctuary for them up here in the fjords. So last week we saw like this fresh pup that was just born and you might be able to see them slide off the ice into the water for the first time in their life. We also of course have mountain goats. Mountain goats love to stay at the very tops, the ridges of our mountains. And they love to do these really advanced crazy climbing skills. And I mean really crazy climbing. This is what they do to get down the sides of our mountains. These mountain goats have the ability to climb near vertical walls without falling off. Who's here to see some brown bears? All right, now, we look for brown bears on the coast. They like to hang out during low tide. We also have black bears. Black bears are a little bit smaller and they tend to just hang out more along the grass or the tree line near the coast. We also have a bunch of bald eagles. Bald eagles are everywhere. And the way that I tell people to look for bald eagles is I say, look for golf balls in the trees. With your binoculars, you might even be able to spot a nest. Nests are up to six feet in diameter and can hold up to three to four fully sized humans. A lot of people want to see sea otters. Now, sea otters are hard to spot from the ship because they like to hang out near the coast. So usually when we're in port, people tend to see sea otters. So look around while we're in the port on the sides, especially around Ketchikan. There's a lot of them in Ketchikan. Many people ask me about humpback whales. So before I go, humpback whales are not often inside the fjord. However, we have seen them inside the fjord a couple times. They also don't come in there very often because they're not, there's not much food for them. But what time is it? It's 924. So in an hour, I would say a half hour to an hour, I'll go check our location. I'm going to be doing a nature walk. So if you guys want to join me, I'll be, I think on the paper it said deck 10 or 11 aft. We'll meet there, we'll walk around, and we'll look for some humpback whales before we go inside the fjord. Who's excited to go explore Alaska starting today? All right, so we're still a few hours away from entering the Tracy Arm Fjord. We just attended the Alaska Glacier Volcanoes and Geology Show. I don't know the exact title of it, uh, with the naturalist Emily that's here on board. And it was pretty informative. I'm actually glad we were able to catch it. We were a little late from breakfast, but uh, it's absolutely beautiful behind us here. And it's only gonna continue to, uh, to get that way. 
we're going to grab some coffee. Charlie's going to show us the uh, sign for whales. All right, show us what you learned. So I did uh, the thing I just did was I said I love whales. So I love whales. But there's also I love yeah. uh, dolphins. Dolphins or orcas. Orcas or not whales. A lot of people think after whales because of their nickname, the killer whale. But they're not whales. They are actually dolphins. So what's the sign for dolphin? What about whale? Well, mm -hmm. what if my orca's coming in to get your whale? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone. This is Emily, your naturalist. Today I'm going to show you Frederick Sound. On our port side, the snow-capped peak of Admiralty Island reached 5,000 feet. And to our starboard side, Bethlehem Mountain reaches over 9,000 feet at its summit, marking the border between Alaska and British Columbia. We can see a few humpback whale trails off in the distance. And since the weather is perfect this morning, it will be a good time to spend whale watching. The best way to spot whales is to scan the water column around the shoreline and horizon with your binoculars until you see a puff of air or black hump in the water. If you'd like to do some whale watching right from the ship, Join me on deck 10 in the back by the Serenity Bar. You need a jacket, girl. So in 20 minutes to do some whale watching. It will be our first nature walk of the week, and hopefully we see some whales right from the ship. But for now, I'm Emily, your naturalist. Keep your eyes on the side of the ship, but the wildlife is always on the outside. All right, we got to get this girl a jacket, and then let's go on a nature walk. I think both my girls need jackets. <laughs> I'll need hats. We're doing some whale hunting. We haven't, we can't watch them yet because we haven't seen any, but we're hunting for whales. Did you see Charlie? anything yet, Charlie? Have you seen any whales? No, but we did see otters. Yeah, we saw two sea, sea otters. otters. Or one. Or one. Maybe it was ahead of his feet. Or it was two together. That's Emily. And we were the only ones who saw lakes. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually getting kind of warm. I'm surprised. Maybe this is blocking the wind. So. Yeah. yeah. Alright, we spent our morning doing a little whale watching, saw some dolphins, whales, otters, pretty successful morning. Now we got to get some lunch before tracing our fjords so we can get up close and personal with all these animals.